Hi, this is William. Welcome to Fly Spoke. Today I'm going to tie for you a fly that Marla Blair created. She's a fly fishing guide in the state of Massachusetts, and she created this little fly called the Jailbird. And the Jailbird represents a fly that's in a transitional state as an air bubble is starting to form on the, uh, on the body of the nymph and it's going to float to the surface and become an emerger. So it's a transitional fly. It works really well. This is a size 16. I normally tie it in 18s and 20s. I use it all season long. Catches really big fish. The hook is a Tiemco 206 BL. And I'm only using the 16 so it's a little bit larger in the in the video. Thread I'm going to start with is Giorgio Bonecci. Olive color 12 aught it's a 70 denier thread I've tried to uh, start learning the actual denier sizes of different thread for comparison because the aught system really really doesn't work uni's 8 aught is 72 denier 12 aught Giorgio Bonecci is 70 denier it, it has no correlation to the reality of the size. So try to get used to denier. So I just started a thread base. Now you can tie this fly as a thread nymph where just just by building up small small amounts of the olive thread um, and that'll make the fly also. So first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to tie in some ultra fine very very fine copper wire that's red color it's enameled red copper wire and I'm just gonna tie that in go back to this tie point the next thing I'm gonna do is take some super fine dubbing it's a waterproof dubbing and um, I'm gonna use it in uh, the color they call blue wing olive which is a medium to darker shade of olive I'm just going to twist that dubbing onto my thread straight to my thread make it so that it's very tapered narrow at the start it'll catch and then just move up you don't want a very thick body you want to try your best to make a nice tapered body getting a little bit thicker a little bit but but really staying pretty thin the whole time add a little bit more okay wrap my wire you can see how fast this one's going but the effectiveness of this fly is really wonderful okay I always pull back on wire double it over before I take it off you can see how light that wire is when I just broke it okay the next item I like to save packaging materials and this is a very very thin light foam very very thin and I'm gonna cut a strip that is oh I would say 3 sixteenths inches wide quarter inch wide and I'm gonna try my best to take the strip and I'm gonna pinch it down and just attach it right in Okay, and I go back to my dubbing, and I'm going to create a small dubbing ball as an abdomen. Pull over my foam. Now again, I'm pinching the foam. Pinch the foam together. Cover over a couple of turns, pull it back, 
wrap a few, and I'm going to take my thread and go to right behind the foam ball. Pull the foam back, cover with a couple of turns, try to trim the foam pretty tight. And take a little bit pinch, just another little pinch of the dubbing. And I'm going to just cover the end of that where the foam ended, just for the fisherman's eye. Trim close. And then I just go underneath and I take that foam and I separate it ever so slightly. And that's the fly. That's the jailbird. Great as a dropper. You can use it as a dropper under a dry, or you can use it as a uh, as a dropper uh, trailing behind a larger a larger fly or a weighted fly. Um, that's it. The jailbird. There it is.